Welcome back, anime fans. My name is Sui, and today we'll be reacting to another exciting episode of Attack on Titan, Season 1, Episodes 5, and Episode 6. And without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Alright, so last episode, we ended off on Episode 4, and... The Colossal Titan just re reappeared again and it has attacked the wall. Now Aaron has to deal with it. So that's what we're going to get into. So it seems like this Colossal Titan is, uh, is apparently like it can think. I think that's what this incident means. Oh dang, that's pretty scary. Like, uh, I mean, Titans are already scary enough because, like, they're huge and they're fast and they eat things. Yeah, imagine something this big, this fast can think. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't know how humans are gonna fight these things. Like, I mean, and the cannons are taken out, which is really, really bad for them. So, uh, for the training, I have noticed that they have always gone for their, like, for, 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 like, the back of the neck, and Aaron's also doing that, like, he's going for the back of the neck. Is, is that, is that, like, their weakness, or is, or is that, like, something, because, uh, can, can you just, like, I don't know, stab a titan in the throat and kill it? Like, yeah, I, I mean, uh, yeah, then, then again, I, I don't think they're... Anatomy is the same as humans, so yeah, I, I guess. What? How in how, how on earth did that giant huge peach, that the giant huge slob of meat just just go like? Did he jump up really high? That he he knows teleportation, invisibility. I have a bad feeling about these two couples. I mean, I th I think one of them is gonna die because, you know, having a couple in the military is just it's just just never a good thing. Yeah, it it doesn't look like the cannons are doing much to the Titans. They just get right back up. It's like it's, it's, it's like it's, it's like I feel like the only way you can like kill these things is like to obliterate these things completely, which I don't think they have the technology to do that yet. Hey yo, who, who is this dude? He's he, he he's pissing me off. Like it, the the soldiers are meant to be like to go into battle and fight. It's not it's not just to defend his territory. Like who are they defending his territory against? Like is anybody fighting for, against him? Like the if if they don't take out the Titans, they they're gonna take out him completely in his territory. You know, Isaka is is definitely a really caring sister. Like, like, it's just, like, Aaron's always the first thing on her mind. Which I, I really I really do like she just never changed once no matter how many times Aaron uh like 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 refused her her kindness and stuff which it's honestly kind of sad that uh, Aaron 
Aaron's treating her like this. But then again, I kind of get what Aaron's getting at. It's uh, it's really not the time to be worrying about him. And uh, whole humanity is in trouble. So yeah, I, I can see where they're both coming from. Hey, yo, so Titans can regenerate? Bro, F forget about disintegrating them. If they can regenerate, you might as well just give up. Holy cow. So they did mention that even decapitating a titan wouldn't kill them. So what's the point of cutting the back of their neck? Their nape, whatever it's called. Like, how is that any different from decapitating a titan? Like, is there, is there like a certain like bone or like muscle there that prevents regeneration that apparently, uh, Decapitation won't won't help. Because when we decapitate a titan, I'm sure it goes through that spot too, right? Oh, this is weird. Bro, okay. So, um, to be honest, I, I always had a feeling that Thomas was was not a important character because his 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 hair just pissed me off. But like, oh wow, he's dead already. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, if if the time didn't chew him, he shouldn't be dead, right? Oh my gosh, it's not like he's gonna get pooped out, because they said, uh, Titans don't have any, like, those organs. Okay, wow, I mean, wow. That didn't last long. Okay, wow, that, that was a lot of stuff. Okay, okay, so um, let me break this down. So, Aaron charges in to kill a Titan. He got his leg eaten already. So is Aaron gonna be like, is, is Aaron gonna be like a disabled person now? Like, is he gonna have like a prosthetic? And, and cause, cause I know he, he's not gonna die this early on. I'm I'm pretty sure he's not gonna die this per this early on. And that one woman got I think they're all gonna die. Holy crap. Like Oh wow. Aaron's not that good of a I mean I mean you can't expect much out of Aaron right now or anybody right now. Oh my gosh. Like they got taken out so fast. Everything everybody's just dying left and right. Holy cow.
What is happening? No, do something. Oh my gosh, why you should not just sit there and get eaten. But do something. Don't just oh my gosh. I guess a leg is just not enough. You gotta get rid of an arm too. Okay, this show does not mess around. Tang treat the main character like like nothing. Oh my gosh. Yo how how is everyone gonna even live through this? Oh my goodness. Okay, so Attack on Titan Episode 5, it was absolutely so fast-paced, like, this story is not messing around, it is jumping straight into the action, and heck, Episode 5, the main character already lost a leg and an arm, like, how in the world is Eren gonna recover from this, like, disability now he's gonna have, right? Like, I, I'm pretty sure if he, like, somebody's gonna, like, cut him out from the stomach, maybe. Like, uh, and is he gonna get, like, a prosthetic arm and a leg now? Because, I, I don't, I don't know how Aaron's gonna get out of this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, um, wow, this show is probably the most bloodiest show that I have watched so far. This is, uh, this is absolutely horrifying, if I may say. It's, like, last episode, like, it was, I, I knew one of them was gonna die, and it's, uh, it's it's almost as if uh, it was foreshadowing that one of them is gonna die, and wow, that that is tragic. And from what I'm looking at right now, it looks like half of his body is gone, and she just can't face reality that this guy doesn't need CPR anymore. Because obviously, you can't live like that. His gut is probably already blown out. It's like, wow, this show really does not, um, it, it's, it's really all about gore. Like, they don't go easy on gore. It's just all blood and, like, damn. Like, just damn. Wow.
Okay, that's actually the first death time, the first time to die in the show, and it was by Misaka, by by Misaka, none other. Oh my gosh! So that's how you kill a titan, just just slice the back of the neck. All right, the way this titan ran was absolutely hilarious. But I, I mean, I didn't have the mood to laugh, and I can't really laugh right now. It, it's just everything is so gloomy i i feel like it's a uh, it's almost illegal to laugh right now I feel like Misako should just beat this guy to death. Like, it's the big, a big portion of why people is dying right now is, yeah, it, it is due to him and these people won't evacuate. Just once they evacuate, they can retreat, right? The only reason why they're still out there fighting is because they won't evacuate. Only more people like these just needs to be killed. They are more, they're probably more dangerous than Titans. This is actually kind of sad right now because uh, Eren is more or less dead right now and uh, Misako has no idea about this. I, I, like, I don't know how Misaka is gonna react once Armin comes back and tells Misaka what happened. It's like this show is really fast paced. I think. Oh, is this, is this her original family? Because uh. I was told that she's an orphan and not actually Aaron's sister. Okay, so I guess did her parents die to Titans too? Like, and then he, and then she moved in with uh, Aaron's family. I love these cute moments. Here and there, it's a, it's a nice break from the gloomy, or from the gloomy like from the gloomy situation that's been happening in these episodes. That doesn't look like a Titan attack. Maybe like a uh, maybe like uh, like some sort of current like some sort of criminal came in and robbed them and, and killed them. I guess I guess Misaka lived somehow. So she came from Asia. So 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 why is that a big deal? Like is is Asia like wiped out from Titans or something? Cause uh yeah, it seems like her being an Asian is uh is very distinct and yeah, I, I don't know man. I don't know.
Okay, wow, Misuka has a terrible childhood. Like, getting her parents killed right in front of her, that is absolutely horrible. And she's the last of the Asian race. Come on. Jesus, what a terrible person they were. Okay, all right. Aaron does not mess around as a kid. Holy, he just killed this man with no hesitation. It, it doesn't even look like it's his first kill. It's almost as uh, he's done this before. My goodness, Aaron is is my man. Holy goodness, let's go, Aaron. Okay, wow, 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 wow. Aaron is my man. He does not mess around either. Holy cow. No wonder why Mesa Cut is so close to Aaron. Wow, this this is not a kid. This is a man. Hey, yo, okay, so I don't know what's happening, but like, does, does Misaka has some superhuman abilities? Because, Jesus Christ, she crushed the handle of a knife. How's that even possible? And she crushed the four tiles on the, on the ground. Like, that takes some immense amount of strength to do that. She's, I mean, there's all that electricity thing going through her brain, like, did, did she, she, she has had some sort of superpower, oh my goodness.
is is this the scarf that is this the scarf that Misaka has been wearing all these times? Because I, I see in every single scene I see Misaka wear the scarf. I, I I'm guessing it's really important in the way that and, and the funny thing at this scene I know I, I know this scene is not funny, but like the way Aaron wrapped it around her her head, her face. That's kind of funny, but like this is so sad at the same time. Oh my goodness. This show is pulling on my heartstrings so much. Okay, so it wow, that was actually really sad. But uh, episode six, the the Misaka's backstory, that was genuinely sad. It it it, it almost made me cry. But like, it's it's unbelievable. Like what she has to go live through, and now like the only thing she has in her world is probably Aaron left, and uh. And Aaron is in the stomach of a titan. In a cramball titan, to be more exact. You know, I have a feeling that Misaka might actually be in love with Aaron. Just my own theory. Alright, we have just finished another reaction video. And as always, thank you guys for watching my video all the way through until the end. And as always, could you please uh, like the video, you know, comment, subscribe if you want to. And yeah, I mean, you don't even have to do all that. I'm glad you guys are here. And see you guys next time on the next reaction or whichever video you click on. That's mine. See ya.